Barrow's butler said you interpret dreams. That is true. And? Pharaoh is tortured by a dream. None of his wise men can explain it. I'm to bring you to the palace. Potiphar. It's good to see you again. How could I have allowed this to happen? My wife... I understand. Let's go. I'm told you merely need to hear a dream, and you can explain it. Not me, Your Excellency. The explanation comes from God. None of my wise men are magicians. None of my gods can help me. What makes you think your god is any different? Tell me your dream, Pharaoh. Every night it's the same. I'm standing by the Nile. Seven healthy cows graze peacefully on the banks. But then, seven horrible, sickly cows come from the same river. The most wretched I have ever seen in Egypt. Suddenly they begin to devour the healthy cattle. And yet the cows remain as sickly as before. And then I wake up. Is there more? Yes. Another dream always follows. Seven ears of grain, full and golden, grow from a single stalk. Ears hardened, scorched, spring up on the same stalk. And swallow the seven good ears. All that remains are shriveled grains unfit to eat. And nothing else. Well? Pharaoh's dreams are one. The healthy cows and years of grain are seven years of abundance. But the sickly cows and the withered grain mean seven years of famine will follow and destroy the land. Egypt may not survive. Can this be stopped? What can be done? You must find a man you can trust. During the years of plenty, have him collect one-fifth of the grain from every field and store it under guard. Then during the years of famine, give it back to the people. Potiphar, you trust this man? With my life, Excellency. man I have seen the future of Egypt and through his deeds we shall prosper I am giving him power over all Egypt only Pharaoh will be greater you shall call him Zafnat Panea the God speaks and he lives